Okay, so let's try this problem together. It asks us assign, to assign SNR uh, configuration to each stereo center in the following molecule. Okay, so remember this is a Fisher projection. Remember Emil Fisher, way back when, uh, decided to um, write these structures to uh, indicate the carbon atoms in uh, sugars, okay? So um, this is a common uh, projection that you will see, a common structural representation that you will see, especially in your biochemistry books, okay? So it's good for us to be able to take this representation and put it in kind of bond line or expanded form, okay? So that's what we want to do right now. So we want to recall that anytime we have these wedges, that means that these bonds are coming out of the plane of the board, okay? Anytime we have a hash bond, it's going behind the plane of the board. And anytime we have a just a straight line, that's in the plane of the board, okay? So now I want you to take this structure, and I know you all have been working on it already, and put it in a, a orientation that looks more like the bond line forms that we've been drawing so we can figure out R and S forms, okay? This one's really nice because both the hydrogens are on one side so we can stick both of those hydrogens in the back really quick, okay? So that's what I'm going to do right now. First, I'm gonna draw the two carbon atoms. So those are the two carbon atoms in the plane there, okay? Everybody okay with what I've done so far? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So now, hopefully, you can see, uh, what I'm going to do is take this structure here with this OH up, this methyl group up, forward, and I'm going to take it and make it like this, okay? So we'll see both the OH and the methyl group forward, okay? So you can do something here. Let's build this molecule real quick. So we are methyl CH3 Okay, so is it okay? So this uh, molecule is the same molecule as this, but it doesn't have the hydrogens on the methyl groups and the OH, okay? So hopefully everybody can see bromine is purple, OH is red, the two hydrogens there, methyl group and methyl group there, okay? So what we're going to do is take it, move it like that, okay? So, OH in front, and methyl group in front, okay? Like that, okay? And in the back, we're gonna have the two hydrogens. On this um, carbon atom, we're gonna have a bromine going down. And on the other carbon atom, we're going to have that methyl group. Okay, so like I was saying, this is a really nice structure to uh, uh, representation to put it in because you have the hydrogens in the back already. And the hydrogens are the lowest priority of the groups. Okay? So remember, to have a stereocenter, we have to have four different groups on a particular atom. If we look at this carbon atom, hopefully you see we have a hydrogen, a methyl, a bromine, and then this group over here, right? Those are four different groups, so we're going to call that a stereocenter. Okay, everybody okay with that one? Yes. Same thing over here. This carbon atom has a hydrogen, a hydroxyl, a methyl, and this group over here. Okay, so that's four different groups, another stereocenter. Like that. Okay, so now we're going to come to the crux of the problem and identify whether these stereocenters are R or S, okay? Like I said, the cool thing is, since we have the lowest priority in the back, we don't have to rearrange this molecule, okay? It's already in the confirmation that we wanted to identify whether it's R or S. So, help me out. What's bigger? Bromine, carbon, or carbon? Bromine. Bromine. So that's one, okay? What's bigger, carbon or carbon? The same, yes, exactly. I like that face. Yeah. Instead of not, I un don't understand. It's like, what? Are you crazy? They're not different. I love it. That's awesome. So we progressed so far, just in the last couple hours. 
Okay, so carbon and carbon are the same, right? What's next over here? Hydrogen, right? And over here? Oxygen. Which one's bigger? Oxygen. So this is going to be two there. And since this is the only one left over, that's three, okay? So let's see if we can get this right. That's going opposite of the way of the clock, right? So like that. So that's going to be S, right? Okay, so let's do the same analysis over here. Is everybody okay with what we've done over here, I guess I should ask? Everybody cool? Okay, wonderful. So here, uh, hydrogen's already in the back. We don't have to worry about it, right? So what's bigger, oxygen, carbon, or carbon? Oxygen. oxygen, one, okay? Carbon or carbon? Same. Hydrogen or bromine? Bromine, so two, three, like that, right? So we got one. Don't have to worry about the hydrogen, two, three. That's going which way? Opposite of the clock, right? So counterclockwise, so that's also S. Okay, so if we were to label this, we would say this is the S, S version of this molecule. Okay. Or stereoisomer. Okay, any questions on that? If you flip it, flip it or rotate it the wrong way, you get it wrong. No, no, if you rotate it the wrong way, no, no, you still have to put the thing in the back, the least priority group in the back. So if that's not the case, you're going to have to rotate it again to be able to do that. I, I understand, okay. So are there any more questions? Okay.